This is a very exciting video because I'm getting back into my groove of cooking with Courtney. You guys, if you've followed me for a bit on YouTube, you know that like cooking in the kitchen and coming up with little recipes is totally my thing. Um, and making healthy recipes that taste good that are also delicious. So if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. We're gonna kick this off with a homemade squash bone healing broth soup video. So this is, I can't take full credit for this recipe because I, I made some tweaks, but my friend Mary, um, who lives in Portland, is the one who showed me how to make this. I was in contact with Mary a few years ago when I was dealing with really, really bad digestive issues. So you can follow her, Mary, at uh, Healing Cave Lady on Instagram. I'll uh, tag her Instagram below in the description. But she's the one who kind of introduced me to soups and bone broth um, because she's like a huge advocate on how bone broth is so healing for the gut. And when I was, like I said, going through a lot of my digestive distress, so if you're someone who also deals with really bad digestive issues, taking time from eating is not always a bad thing. Taking time to do maybe like short periods of fasting, intermittent fasting, um, giving that digestive system a break, having soups where you're still getting a lot of nutrients, a lot of protein from bone broth, um, healthy fats, vegetables, but it's all kind of broken down. Um, it's It worked wonderfully for me for a long time when I was having, like I said, really, really bad digestive issues. So this is a recipe she showed me. Um, like I said, I made a few, few adjustments, adding in some vital proteins. Instead of ghee butter, you can use coconut oil. Um, we're gonna use coconut milk, and we're gonna use bone broth and some squash. So I'm gonna just run through this show you guys exactly how I make this delicious winter fall soup. It is so good. Um, so first things first, what you're gonna do is set the oven to 400. You are going to use acorn squash. You can also use butternut squash. Squash is super healing. Um, it's, it's a great winter vegetable to have. So I, I love squashes during the winter. You could, Like I said, you can also make this with butternut squash. I have already done the prep work, um, so here it is. So what I do is I take the squash, I cut it in half, scrape out the seeds, literally like a pumpkin, put it face down on in the oven at 400 for about an hour, depending on how fast your oven cooks. When that is done, let it cool off completely. You're going to get a bowl, like so. Where's the bowl? Let's just use, hold, please hold. Okay. So you're gonna get a bowl and a spoon. Let me move this over. And you're going to scrape out the squash. Okay guys, by the way, for this recipe, you are going to need, I will put the exact recipe below, but you are going to need two acorn squashes or butternut squashes, um, dep depending on size. I love to make this, and if I don't eat it all at once, obviously share it with family. My mom loves this, Chris loves this. My, I'm making a batch actually for my grandparents as well, uh, because my grandpa is very big into organic. That's his new thing, organic. He doesn't know what it means, but he like wants to live forever, and his new thing is organic. I'm like, okay, Grams, sure. Organic it is, so I'm gonna bring him this soup, and he's gonna be really happy. So I'm happy about that, so yeah, okay. I'm gonna set this aside. So like I said, I'll put the recipe below. You're gonna need two squashes of some sort. It's gonna be all just like that. Put that aside. And then you are going to need one to two carrots and a sweet onion. You wanna slice the carrot pretty thin. Um, just because it's gonna go in the pan. hate it, but it's okay. It's gonna peel this baby back. With the onion too, you wanna just kind of slice it into chunks. It really doesn't matter how it looks. Uh, this is going to be a blended soup, so you're going to need 
a high speed blender for this soup recipe. It probably will not work without it. Um, you're not gonna get the same effect. So cut up the onions into little dices. making process of the soup while my eyes were full blown watery. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys really quick a few different options you can use for bone broth. There's quite a few here. So um, just for convenience sake, I bought two different bone broths that I love, that I've used before. I have made my own bone broth before in a pressure cooker. I have a YouTube video, I'll link it here. Um, you can watch to see how you actually make your own homemade bone broth, which is so, so great. So high in different aminos and it's just so healing and sealing for the gut. But I know that can take up some time and a lot of people don't have a lot of time during the day. So two different brands I love is this Imagine Organic Free Range Chicken Bone Broth. It's low sodium. And what I really like about this brand is there's no added, um, crap in it. The ingredients are literally organic chicken bone broth, filtered water, organic chicken, organic onions, organic celery, organic carrots, natural chicken flavor, organic spices, and sea salt. And that is it. So this is an amazing brand. I found this at Whole Foods. This is going to be cheaper than something like this, but I really do love this brand. This is probably my number one brand choice besides um, making it myself. <laughs> so uh, the Bonafide organic bone broth. They have this in turkey, like bison, lamb mix. They have a beef one, a chicken one. So you, do, you get different uh, like amino profiles from different bone broths, but this one's really, really great too. It's just like, honestly, the same ingredients pretty much, but has different things like sage, rosemary, onion, parsley. And um, this is like, it's great. It comes frozen. So this comes in the frozen section. This obviously you can just get out. And then I also want to show you guys, Vital Proteins has bone broth as well so they have complete uh, grass-fed pasture raised um, bone broth they have it in beef and chicken flavor so I'm gonna use the beef flavor and mix it with a little bit of chicken um, both are great super high in aminos nine grams of collagen really great for digestive health and honestly it's just one simple ingredient which is organic beef bone broth powder so you can literally mix this with hot water and you have your own bone broth I'm gonna use some bone broth here and then add in a few scoops of this for an extra boost of collagen aminos and all around gut health goodness so that's what's going in the soup so that's the base and then you're gonna do coconut um, unsweetened organic coconut milk I'm gonna show you exactly how to use this in there you can either use like I said coconut oil or ghee butter and then some different spices so first things first how we start the soup Besides the prep time with making your squash and cutting your onions and carrots, we're gonna head on over to the stove. So you're going to need a fairly big soup pot. Um, this is the size I'm using. You're gonna turn it on high to medium heat. And what you're first going to do is let it get hot and add in the base, which is um, just like kind of what we're gonna do is roast up these veggies. We're gonna kinda wanna brown them. You're gonna get a lot of flavor from that. So you can use ghee butter or co coconut oil. I'm going to do two big tablespoons of ghee butter for this one. So just put it in there like that. They're pretty heaping. And then you're gonna let that get hot. And then after you wait about a few minutes, we're gonna add in the carrots and onion. All right guys, after your butter or your coconut oil is fairly melted, you're going to add your big bowl of one whole sweet onion and one carrot. You can add more carrots if you would like for more flavor. So I'm just gonna add that right in there. Get it all in there. And then with this, you want to let it get pretty brown. So you want it to cook, your house is gonna smell amazing. Um, you want this to kind of cook up for, I would say, just depending until they're, it's fairly cooked. You don't want raw, you're not gonna wanna blend raw vegetables. So I would let this brown, stir it around a few times. All right guys, so my soup 
my soup. This is my soup. This is it. This is the end product. No, I'm totally kidding. So, um, as you can tell, like, the onion and the carrots are very well cooked. And you can kind of see a little bit of, like, browning in there. And it looks super yummy and sautéed. So, after I let that sit, what I'm going to do now is add my bone broth. For this one, I'm going to be doing my... Ooh, hold on. Oh, there we go. My free range chicken bone broth, low sodium and organic. So I'm going to put two of these in there. You know, since my grandpa's about the organic life, this one's going to be for him. I can't, how old is grandpa? He's like 85, 87. Oh my gosh. So all in all, you can do about, I literally just wing it. Like when I'm making this, I'll do either two of these or two of the bona fide bags or like eight cups of my own homemade bone broth. So there's that. And like I said, guys, I'm actually going to make another one over there. And I'm going to use the organic turkey bona fide um, made from free range turkey bones bone broth for this one. So back to this one. Now I'm going to add my two squashes. Whoop, so I'm going to add two of these in. Ah, you should probably add the squash first <laughs> so it doesn't go everywhere. So add your two squashes in. Now with this, we're gonna let this sit for about, mm, I would say at least 30 to 40-ish minutes. We're gonna kinda get all the flavor going, the onions, the carrots, the bone broth, and the squash. And then we're also going, I'm gonna have it on like a low to medium heat, probably more medium since it's so like hearty. I'm also going to add in some cinnamon because this is like a very fall wintery soup. So I like the cinnamon and nutmeg in there. I just think it tastes like, gives it a little bit of sweetness because there's a lot of richness from like the ghee butter and stuff. I'm gonna add in some black pepper and I'll probably add in more at the end, but I'm just gonna let this like simmer with everything and kind of get the flavor going. I'm gonna add in some nutmeg. Kind of a preference if you don't like nutmeg don't add it in there's no wrong or right way to do this that's the cool thing about soup um, i'm gonna add in a little bit of white pepper just for a little kind of different flavor and then i am going to add in some celtic sea salt good for the thyroid okay that's why i'm gonna let this oh, stir simmer up and like i said i'm like a medium heat um kind of get all the squash like absorbed in there and then i will show you the next step I soup off after i let it all sit in here for about 30 35 ish minutes let it cool for a minute and then i'm going to now use my high my high speed blender which i'm using a vitamix and uh it honestly works the best for me but i feel if you have like a blend tech or a Nutribullet um, or a Ninja type thing, just something that can take high heat, that would be the best for you. Also, before I blend in my Vitamix, I'm going to add a few scoops of my bone broth collagen. It looks like this, ooh, from Vital. I'm gonna put that in here. I'm gonna add about three scoops, get my Gramps bones extra healthy. And I'm gonna stir that in. Like I said, you guys, this is optional. I'm just doing it for extra protein, extra collagen, and has amazing benefits. So I'm gonna do this in two batches. I'm gonna take half of the pot, since it's so big, I'm gonna put half in here, blend it, pour it in a separate dish, and then do the other half, and mix it all together. So here we go. It's so good. Vitamix, honestly, no affiliation with Vitamix, but their blenders work great and they last for years. Like I've had mine for like four years. Yeah, it's a $400 investment, but 
It just works so good. Okay, so now I have my soup all blended up. What I'm gonna do now is take my unsweetened organic coconut milk. I love this brand, Native Forest, because there's no guar gum or any other additives, and it's organic. So with this, you guys, I'm the coconut, um, it separates, so there's gonna be like an oil at the bottom and then a white coconut milk at the top. I'm only gonna add the coconut uh, white part. Stir this up now. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more salt in here. And obviously do the seasoning to your tasting if you want more cinnamon, salt, pepper. I'm not a huge pepper fan, but I am a cinnamon and salt kind of girl. So, just gonna give that a nice little twirl, add it in my coconut milk. <gasps> it is so good. You guys, I'll put some like rosemary chicken in here with a little bowl of this. It's so satisfying and like warms you up and it's just so good. All right, we're gonna give this a go, a little test try even though I know this is already bomb.com because I've had it many times, but we're gonna try the end product. Oh yeah, that's so good. And honestly, it just feels healthy. It's homemade. Soup in general is so healing. Honestly, when I had a lot of my digestive distress issues, chewing and constantly having my digestive system go to work was not good for me. So having a lot of healing soups, um, juices, smoothies, things that are easy to digest and giving your little tummy a break. Um, and it's just good, it's so good. And honestly, when you go to a lot of different cafes or stores and you think, oh, I'm buying a soup, it has to be healthy, there's vegetables in it, but there's tons of like different bullshit, excuse my language, like vegetable oils, canola oil and soup, um, just a lot of bad stuff that you don't want to consume, it just, it's like kind of defeating the purpose of having a healthy soup when you're just consuming a lot of different gums and craps and vegetable oils that they put in a lot of soups at like Panera or wherever else. But I know everything that went into this soup, um, it's healing, you have veggies, you have fats, you have bone broth, which is so good, so many aminos, um, and yeah, it's just absolutely delicious. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Shout out to Mary for kind of introducing me to the soup game and how to make this soup. Um, it's one of my favorites, it's like a staple. I love it, especially during like the chillier months. This is a go-to. Throw some chicken in there for a little extra protein and you have an amazing meal. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you make this, don't forget to give me a tag or marry a tag and let us know. Bye guys.